action. Roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. The assignment. How to something. So it's, it's 1978, I'm recently divorced, living alone for the very first time. I'm the oldest of 10 kids. And uh, <laughs> I buy this house down by SeaTac Airport and it is a hole. I mean, it is, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I got rats, mm -hmm. literally, big ones. I mean, these guys, man, they are like, Unreal. We're talking, we're talking something along this size, literally about that big almost. Okay, legs. Anyway, and so, so um, I come home one night and I uh, strip down to my underwear. I go in to brush my teeth. The pedestal sink, and I hear this, which I'd hear. I'd bang on the wall. It'd be up in the ceilings, wherever they would be. And, <laughs> and I, uh, I hear this noise. So I bang on the wall, the noise quits. And then I look, trash can right here, rat right there. Bare feet, underwear. Yay, okay. This is how to, by the way, kill a rat. <laughs> okay. So, step one, I just told you. Step one was what? Discovery. Discovery. Okay. So I found a rat. What do I do? I run into the bedroom, pull on my unlaced combat boots, still in the underwear. So get the picture. You with me? Run out to the back, grab a broom, walk in, or run back. He has come out, out into the hallway behind the clothes hamper. I take a look at the rat. I take a look at the broom. There I am, ready to do battle. So, what did I do? I prepared, didn't I? Prepare for battle in this case. And take a look at the rat, take a look at the broom, run back out, trade the broom for a shovel. <laughs> okay? Why? Needed a better weapon. That's called upgrade. Okay, so I, uh, <laughs> it was fun. Anyway, so I sneak up on him. He's still there behind the clothes hamper using my best skills. I strike like a cobra, man. Look at this. Pin him to the wall, okay? Kill him. Doesn't die right away. Flops all around. Blood everywhere. <laughs> so then I shovel him up, take him outside when he finally expires, toss him out. The bag lady next door has like 30 cats. Why I had rats, I don't know, maybe the rats were so big they ate the cats, I don't know. Anyway, point is that, that uh, what I did then was I executed my plan, didn't I? Successfully, I might add, okay? And then I go clean up the mess, put the shovel back, go take off the combat boots, lay in bed, and try to go to sleep. Eyes this big, every noise. And so it's like, I'm thinking this over and I can't get rid of it, how did this, and so on. That is the debrief. So I was debriefing myself. It took me a while to go to sleep, debrief, get the energy out, that sort of thing. Okay, so why do I tell you the story? Because it's fun, that's why. But more importantly than that, there is a point. This is how you solve problems. Discovery, prepare, upgrade if necessary, execute, and debrief. Why do you debrief? Yeah, so you can start the loop and do better next time, whatever it happens to be. Got the idea? Thank you. Questions? Thank you. Questions? How many more rats were there? I have no idea, but 
but I'm listening to every noise, and they're still around. They're scratching. They're doing. All, I'm trying. It takes me like hours to go to sleep. So, in a different context, what does upgrade mean? Up Everything else I, makes sense to me, but I, don't, I, don't, I guess I don't okay, think the upgrade well, piece. See, if you look at your preparation, and then you look again at the problem, you might discover that that's insufficient. If, in my case, it was in this example. This is often the case. We, we take a first stab at something. Sometimes you can see that before you try it, which in this case was lucky I did because I'd have probably had a rat all over the place at trying to chase him down if I hadn't done that. But sometimes our problems are just like that rat and they'll every which way, whatever it is. Whether it's a business problem, personal problem, doesn't matter. It's a process that can apply anywhere. And that's what's kind of fun about this idea. Yeah? This isn't really a question, but this is more of a statement uh, for Marshall. Do um, you still live in Seattle? No, I live here. Okay, so they now stop using rats for laboratory experiments at the University of Washington. Uh -huh. They now use attorneys. Because, <laughs> because there's just some things a rat won't do. I, I've heard that. That's true. That's true. There are just some things a rat won't do. That's true. What do you call 400 year attorneys at the bottom of the Mississippi? Good start. A good start. Yeah. Anyway, it just goes on and on. But uh, <laughs> there are lots of those. And we can pick on accountants. I don't care. Pick on anybody they want. Their attorneys are just a soft target. So uh, any other questions about this? So maybe you could just give us an example of another type of problem that you've employed this process and, and maybe give us a little example of how you use these steps and what the outcome was. Absolutely. So I, uh, after three and a half, uh, after four surgeries in three and a half years, including a cancer surgery, uh, a little over a year ago, I decided to restart my business, move it to another level. And so talking to my friends, they said, well, if you want to go do more keynoting and stuff like that, you got to have a book. That's kind of like the price of entry. So in May last year, I make a decision. I am going to write a book. No idea what the book's going to be. No idea what the... Uh, uh, you know, anything like that. I just know I'm going to write a book. A hundred days later, in my hand, I have a hundred copies. I'm live on Amazon. I am live on Kindle. I have a hundred copies. My total hard cost is $632.46. And on January 27th, I went number three on Amazon. And I'm still in the, in the, on the bestseller list today. Nice job. Good okay. Job. And I was at number five about a week and a half ago. What was the title of the book? It's called Me, Inc. Your Life is Your Business. So, I used this very same process there. I'd never written a book. I didn't know how to write a book. I, I probably started 20. But I actually finished this one, you know? <laughs> and I didn't, didn't know how. But I know how to run a project. I know how to put a team together. I know how to lead a team. That's where my expertise is. I'm the master of self-leadership. That's what I call myself. But the point is, that's the idea. And so, you know, it's doable. But it's exactly the same process. I discover I have a problem. I've got to upgrade my business. I prepare. I make a commitment. Okay? I upgrade. I realize, wait a minute. I've got to... I, mean, I did the internal graphics, but I had to have a, a cover designer for the external ones. So that was an upgrade. Um, I executed the plan, and then I debrief. I took my um, people to dinner. I did other things in the deep brief process. My next book, I know how to do it. I know how to teach this. I know how to help other people do this now because of the debrief process. How's that for an example? Excellent. Excellent. Any other questions? Thank you. <laughs>